team. If you've bought one of these low cost 40 watt CO2 laser engravers from eBay uh, and were hoping to be able to use it for vector cutting of small wooden uh, or plastic parts, uh, then like me, you might be a little bit disappointed with it. Well, I'm not disappointed anymore. Keep watching to find out why. I'm a radio controlled model aircraft enthusiast and I bought one of these laser engravers so that I could hopefully cut out replacement wooden parts from sheets of plywood uh, from, from my now obsolete model plane following a crash. In this case I'd like to build a new engine mounting for it. You get with the machine some Chinese software called LaserDraw that allows vector cutting but you have to use the software's own mouse driven graphics entry screen to draw in your shapes that you want to cut out. It doesn't allow you to import industry standard formatted vector graphics files such as uh, Hewlett Packard graphics language HPGL with the .plt file extension from popular computer aided design or graphics publishing software packages like AutoCAD or CorelDRAW. It does however allow you to import files that are formatted to the machine's own proprietary engraving format .egv. If you research this problem on the internet you will probably find, as I did, many forums discussing the subject and offering various solutions. These all involve stripping out the machine's Chinese electronics and mechanics and replacing it all at great cost with industry standard DSP control boards and laser mirror head and transport gear. All you have left of the original machine is the metal cabinet, the laser tube and the transport bearings. I suppose it's still a lower cost solution than buying an American, European or Australian built CNC laser cutter but it is well out of the reach of the simple hobbyists such as myself. I've got a better idea. My solution retains the use of the original Chinese electronics and software and so no modifications are required to the machine whatsoever. The trick I've worked out is to use a software app such as PLT to EGV available on eBay to convert the vector formatted product of AutoCAD or CorelDRAW to the machine's proprietary format, the .egv file. Here's how it's done using AutoCAD. This example is for a replacement engine mount made from 3mm thick plywood. The original part got smashed in a head-on collision with the ground and the aircraft model is now obsolete so spare parts are no longer available in the shops. First I modelled the new engine mount in 3D using AutoCAD. I'm going to show you how I cut out this piece which is the top part of the engine mount assembly. The first thing I do is to create a virtual plotter device within AutoCAD that will output HPGL format graphics to a file instead of an actual plotter. I only need to do this once unless I have to reinstall AutoCAD for some reason. I click on the AutoCAD logo in the top left hand corner. I click on the right arrow next to the plot menu item. I select manage plotters. I click on add plotter wizard. I click next. I ensure my computer is selected. I click next. I choose Hewlett Packard 7475A as the plotter model. I click next. I click next again. Along the top of the ports dialog box I select plot to file. I click next. For the plotter name I type something recognisable like hp-gl formatted file. I click next. I click finish. 
As you can see, the virtual device appears in the list as an HPGL formatted file. Now I can close this window. Going back to my AutoCAD design, I now switch to the paper layout of the top aspect view that I previously created. I click on the AutoCAD logo in the top left hand corner. I click on the right arrow next to the plot menu item. I click on plot. In the plot dialog box that appears, I pull down the printer stroke plotter name drop down list. From the list, I select the HPGL formatted file and click on OK. I accept the automatically chosen file name of engine underscore mount hyphen top dot plt and click save. Now I minimize the AutoCAD window and launch plt to egv from the desktop. I click on browse to the right of the HPGL file to convert entry field. I navigate to and select the newly created plt file and click open. I enter the origin X and Y coordinates in millimetres. This will be the top left hand corner position where the cut will start from. I select the cutting speed in millimetres per second from the drop down list. I click on convert. A pop up window appears to let me know that the conversion has been successful. I can see within Windows Explorer that two new files have appeared with the .egv file extension. If I examine the contents of these files, I can see that they are in the lhy-micro-gl file format. Next, I launch LaserDraw from the desktop. I load a blank piece of 3mm plywood into the K40, close the lid and turn it on. I select the appropriate power level based on previous experience and trial and error. I ensure that the K40 is connected to the laptop via the USB cable. I click on engrave in the menu bar across the top and select import laser file from the drop down menu. I select the first file ending in 000.egv and I click the start engrave button. I wait for the cut to complete. I again click on engrave in the menu bar across the top and select import laser file again from the drop down menu. I select the second file ending in 001.egv and click on the engrave button again. <laughs> I wait for the cut to complete. I power off the K40 and remove the work, then finally press out the newly cut pieces. I hope you enjoyed this short demo. Please follow our Facebook page and keep a lookout for further updates and future innovation designed to help make your life easier. Thanks for watching, hope to see you again soon.